everyone, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank. Today I am checking out the Small HD 702 monitor. Now, Small HD is making a whole fleet of different types of onboard monitors in different sizes. And what we really want to concentrate on today is the feature set that comes along with it. There's a great toolkit inside of all these monitors that allow us to evaluate our image for focus, for exposure, for a number of different parameters. Let's get started, a little tour of the basic structure of how that toolkit set up with the first page of menus. On the left hand side is going to be your monitor settings and notice I have this icon of this mountain valley here because I do not have a live image. So as soon as I plug in my SDI here, you're going to see it go live. All right, there's my chart. I'm going to go to my monitor settings. The other way to navigate is to hit the back key here. If I do that, now this takes me into my monitor settings. Back key again, it's gonna take me back to my page view. My first uh, window here, or first page, is something called output preview page. If I click in with my joystick, it's pre-named as look, and also you'll notice that it is grayed out. If I go in and I click on it once, you'll notice that it goes from a log image to a Rec. 709. The way that I did that, I just right clicked on the joystick and now you'll see that it's turned on. Whatever is highlighted is what's active. Also my look profile right now is S-Log3 to Rec. 709. If I push in, now I could go to internal settings. The internal settings are LUTs that would be loaded using an SD card and the uh, settings here are preset from small HD. And as you can see, it's a list of all the most popular uh, D-Log LUTs out there. We could also take a LUT on an SD card and load it into the small HD monitor and apply it to the log signal. We're using S-Log3 to Rec. 709 for this uh, signal. So I go back, now you can see I have my LUTed image. Go back once more, and now I get to the plus page or my new page. So now I can go in and I can proceed and set up the next page any way I want. Now I'm going to right click on, or actually push in on the joystick and that gives me uh, the toolkits that I can go into. I have chosen to go into my waveform. If I wanted something different, I could just back click and go into another menu option. So I'm gonna go back into waveform, I gotta turn it on. And the default right now is going uh, across the screen all the way and cutting the screen in half. First, I can choose the style of waveform that I have here. I have Luma, RGB, or I can do my parade. I'm gonna choose the parade. I could make it a full screen. I could also go in and now I can, uh, by right or left clicking on my joystick here, I can change the size of the dimensions of the waveform. I've opened up another page and now I wanna go in and let's say I want to put some focusing enhancements on this page. So if I, click in on my joystick, add new tool shows up. I can go in and I'm gonna scroll down to my focus. And I'm gonna do some peaking here. And I'm gonna add it. Now notice I have this little green triangle right now that's telling me that it's active. If I right click over, I can change an attribute. So I have on off, or I can change the intensity of the peaking on the image. I can go back. Now I can do a couple of things at this point. I could add another tool on top of this one. I can also go down to this one right here where it says shared tool. And if I make that active, I'm gonna go back to my previous screen, which is where the waveform is. And now notice that peaking is now active on the waveform page as well. We've looked at the waveform and the feature set in there to look at log photography. Now I've changed the camera over to Rec. 709 and I wanna look at the false color. And one of the nice features they've built into this is that they have a bar that can be referenced very quickly and easily to see what your exposure value is. I'm gonna create a new page here for Rec. 709. I wanna go in and look at my uh, exposure. So I'm gonna click in on my joystick, add a new tool, go to my exposure, and I'm gonna to go to the exposure assist. 
select that. Now I'm going to add it with the plus button just to this page. If I went to this icon below, I would add it to every page, but I want just one page that gives me some information about my exposure. As you can see now, I've got this full color overlay here. I can turn it on and off, and now I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to choose the style. I can show the full range or a smaller range called discrete. If I do that, I can do the IRE grid. Notice the IRE grid just shows me certain values. If I go back to my full, now you can see the full range of uh, what the different IRE values are. As I roll through my iris, you can see that it changes accordingly. About like that, should be pretty good. I can change the location of that grid and I can also go through and change the intensity. In addition to the focus enhancements that are built in, such as the peaking and the focus assist, we also have the ability at any time to digitally zoom in on our picture. And to do that, I'm going to click up on my joystick and we get the times two. Click again and get the times four. You notice we have this little icon right there and it's showing me that it's fixed at that point right now of focus. But if I click in on the joystick, notice how it changes to arrows. And now we can use the joystick to navigate around the full frame or to a section of the frame and be able to establish or judge our focus there. I'm going to click out, click out of that mode, two clicks down, and now we're back to full frame. That concludes my look at Small HD. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.